Hello, and welcome to a new episode of Amazing World, a glimpse into our bright future. My name is Luna, and today we're exploring one of the most groundbreaking ideas of our time, the possibility that we could one day upload our minds and live on indefinitely. It may sound like science fiction, but parts of this vision are already becoming reality. Today, researchers around the world are working on technologies that connect the human brain directly to machines. Brain-Computer Interfaces, or BCIs, are no longer theoretical. Companies like Neuralink, Synchron, and Kernel are developing implants that can read, and in some cases, write, neural signals. In medicine, these technologies are already helping people regain control over prosthetic limbs or communicate despite paralysis. The next step, capturing more than signals, capturing patterns of thought, memory, personality. High-resolution brain mapping, combined with massive data storage and AI-based pattern recognition, could allow us to create digital models of our mental activity. These models may start simple, a collection of preferences, memories, behaviors, but over time, they could evolve into something more complete, a full digital representation of a person's inner world. Imagine being able to make backups of your own mind, regularly, like saving files on a hard drive. A copy of your memories, your knowledge, your personality. For patients with Alzheimer's or dementia, this could be life-changing. A backup created before the illness progresses could one day help restore lost parts of the self or allow families to reconnect with the version of that person they once knew. Now imagine what happens when we extend this even further. Let's say someone dies, but they left behind a recent backup of their mind. With future biotech, it might be possible to grow a new biological body, genetically matched, age-adjusted, healthy. That body could then be paired with the digital backup, restoring not just the appearance, but the personality and memories of the individual. What sounds unsettling today may one day become normal, and perhaps even welcomed. Of course, not everyone would choose to return in physical form. Some may prefer to continue as digital beings in fully immersive, high-resolution virtual environments. There, you could live in any world you imagine. Design your surroundings, meet others, learn, explore, grow without limits. Your mind, now untethered from biology, could live on indefinitely, evolving alongside others in vast shared networks. These possibilities raise important questions. What makes a person unique? Is it the biological brain or the information it holds? If a digital copy remembers everything you do, reacts like you, evolves over time, is it still you? And more practically, how do we ensure privacy, autonomy, and fairness in a world where minds can be stored, copied, and restored? These are challenges we will have to face, but the technological foundation is already forming and it's advancing faster than most people realize. In the next 10 to 30 years, we may see early forms of digital preservation become part of everyday life. In the next 50 to 100 years, complete mind backups could be possible. And beyond that, perhaps in 200 or 300 years, a world where death becomes optional may emerge. This isn't about escaping life. It's about extending it with all its relationships creativity, knowledge, and progress. Digital immortality may not be for everyone. Some will embrace it, others will reject it, and that's fine. The future should offer choices, not obligations. But what matters is this. For the first time in history, we are beginning to understand how the mind works in technical terms. And that opens a door to something humanity has dreamed of for millennia, not through myth, but through science. So the question is no longer if, but how soon. And when the moment comes, when the technology is ready and the questions are answered, you might just have the option to decide, do I want to keep going 